Hi, this is a video to show off the stochastic height blending node for Amplify Shader Editor. Now, uh, first I'll just show off what the technique does, and then we can talk about how you use it in your own shaders. Uh, so here we have a texture uh, tiled over this cube ten times. It's a very nice texture, has a lot of really nice detail, but the problem is, is that it tiles. Uh, and tiling can really distract you from, uh, you know, things looking good. So let's fix that. Uh, I've got a material here that has a, a switch on it that lets me turn on the stochastic and turn it off so we can compare. And so I'm just going to turn that on. And now we see no tiling. And so, uh, yeah, you can see that there's really no repeats. It sort of creates a uh, texture which is very similar to the original. Uh, it retains all those nice details, um, but it sort of randomizes this thing into something that never tiles. Uh, so uh, I have this node available for um, the uh, Amplify Shader Editor, for the Unity Shader Editor, uh, and soon uh, Unreal. And I also use it in the texture, cl texture cluster module of uh, Microsplat. And that works really, really well, even on very large areas. Um, so let's talk about the two properties of the technique. Uh, basically what you have is a contrast and scale property. So the contrast uh, property controls the blend between uh, the sort of um, different samples it's taking of your texture. Uh, what it actually does is it constructs, uh, imagine you put three triangles and sort of randomly adjusted them, and then you had your texture on them, and you took these three triangle areas, and then you blended them together in some way. And what this node does is use a height map uh, blending operator to blend those values together. So we have a contrast control for that, and if I uh, put the contrast uh, up, then that's going to use a much wider area uh, to do the blending, and so you're going to get something that's softer, uh, and um, you know you see lots more blending. Uh, so this could be good for grass and things that you want uh, to have kind of a fuzzy look. Uh, I prefer it pretty pretty tight uh, most of the time, somewhere around uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.15, something like that. And that gives it a really uh, a tight blend so that what you end up with is um, a lot more of your original texture coming through with no blending, uh, which tends to look the best if you have really nice textures. So the scale uh, controls the size of those virtual triangles I talked about earlier. Uh, right now the scale is one, which means that the largest, uh, the triangle will be about the size of a single tile of the texture. And if you lower this value down, uh, then what you will see is here it's only allowed to be half the size of the texture. So essentially it's going to blend between these uh, samples much quicker. It's going to twice as quick because those triangles are going to be smaller. If you make it larger, then they'll be bigger than a whole texture. The disadvantage of this is that you might start to see tiling if you make it too large. I have it capped at 1.5 here. Uh, but the advantage is, again, you see more of the original texture. Um, so what I tend to do is put this around 1.2 uh, because I don't mind seeing a, a little bit more than the, I don't mind seeing the texture actually loop a little bit as long as it's getting cut off fairly often and that preserves more of the original detail. Um, so yeah, so this is exposed on a compare material so that you can compare things and then there's a very simple example that doesn't have any of that uh, which we can use instead and um, that simple example doesn't have the switch on and off. Uh, that's so that we can have a simpler shader graph to work with. Uh, but it has the same properties uh, on it exposed. So let's open that um, material in the Amplify Shader Editor and we'll see how it works. So here I have my scale and contrast exposed for the user. And then I have three textures. I have an albedo uh, texture that has the height uh, in the alpha channel. I have a normal map. And then I have a smoothness in AO map. And the smoothness is in the green channel and the uh, ambient occlusion is in the alpha channel. Um, so uh, this works very similar to a regular texture node. Uh, what you have is you have your texture coordinates and then you plug a texture into it. Um, and then it has these extra inputs here for scale, contrast, and blend weights. And I'll explain blend weights in a second. So scale and contrast we've already explained. And then you have your normal outputs for the RGBA, the red, the green, the blue, and the alpha independently, and then a blend weights output. So these blend weights, basically uh, this node right now is set to use the alpha channel for its blending because remember I put that height data in the alpha channel. 
Um, now we have some options available here. We can use any of the four channels, but we can also use the luminosity. Uh, so if you don't have a height map available, uh, you could use the luminosity of your RGB uh, to basically become the blending operator. And I actually find there's some advantages to doing that sometimes. One thing that about using a height map is that it tends to be that the higher areas win out more and the lower areas are less common because when you have two height maps and saying, hey, I want the height map that's higher, well, if you're blending three copies of these together all the time, you're more likely to have an area that's high. So the luminosity uh, is just going to use the luminosity. And again, you could even put something else in the alpha channel or in any of these channels, really, um, that is specific data to control this blend that isn't height data, right? Uh, but height, height mapping works pretty well, and the luminosity works well as well. Um, so uh, we sample the diffuse texture, and we have this blend weights output, and that, again, is based on this alpha channel. And so then what we can do is when we go to sample the normal, which is, again, the normal map is coming in here in our texture, uh, we can plug the blend weights from here, and it will reuse all the work that had to happen to figure out the triangle grid and the um, and come up with the final blend. And it means that uh, when it blends the, the normal maps together, it's going to blend them exactly the same as the diffuse map. Now, you could break this and have the normal map blend completely independently and have this map blend completely independently. It would be a little more expensive. Uh, but the main thing is it wouldn't wouldn't match up in terms of the blends. So we get a much better quality by chaining these together and reusing that blend weights. And we actually get a more optimal shader because it doesn't have to compute uh, that triangle offset grid uh, multiple times. And then finally, uh, you plug it into your main node. Uh, so if you're familiar with Amplify and you've worked with textures in Amplify before, uh, this should all be very familiar with it for you. Um, maybe you've only done it where you choose the texture in here. Uh, but you can create these texture objects and plug them in, and it's not really any more complex. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Uh, in terms of performance, we should talk about that. Uh, each of these nodes is taking three samples from the texture. Now, that doesn't mean it's three times more expensive because you're accessing the same texture and you might get some cache coherency there, uh, but it is more expensive than just sampling the texture once. Uh, so I, I find that this technique is, is similar in cost to something like triplanar uh, mapping. Um, but to get rid of all your, uh, your um, you know, tiling that if on a big tiling texture, that can totally be worth it. Uh, the other properties on this are the default scale and contrast, if you don't provide them uh, from these inputs here. And this checkbox, which is very important if you're sampling a normal map, is normal map. You click that and it's going to unpack your normal map for you, assuming you have them set to the normal map type in Unity. Uh, and, uh, and yeah. So uh, there we go. I hope this is useful and uh, it will definitely fix your tiling artifacts. Um, let's just go back to the main scene here. And you can see how nice this looks. Actually, let's just change it. One more thing is change it to that luminosity operator that I talked about earlier. So here we can see that we're getting uh, not as much of these puddles as we did before. And that, again, is because we're using the height map. And it's going to choose the higher areas uh, are going to be more dominant. So you end up with a lot more areas of non-water because it's less common that you end up with water in every area, right? So let's open this up and let's go ahead and change our blend here from the alpha channel to the luminosity channel. Let me go ahead and compile our shader and look at the difference. So here we see using the luminosity of our image, we actually have a lot more water now. Uh, and that's because we're not basing it off that height data. Uh, it's still using a height map operator to blend it, but it's uh, basically doing it off color. If you were to invert the height map, for instance, then you would get tons of water. Um, so you know, how this looks compared to the original texture is really depending on that, uh, what data it's blending on, right? The closer it is to um, uh, producing something with the same amount of highs and lows, then, uh, you know, it'll look a little more like the original texture. Um, so I actually find that even though I almost always have height maps for my images for other reasons, uh, that sometimes using the luminosity operator uh, works out a little better. It just depends on what you're doing. Um, for now, though, I'm going to put it back to be, what was that? Here we go. Back to the alpha channel for the height map. 
All right, I hope this has been useful. Uh, if you have any trouble, give me a ring on the forums uh, or any of the uh, Discord or any of the other places that you can find me. Thanks a lot.